Why must he quickly sit down? Not think of not yet planning for the next election. You should sit down. Go for dialogue. Talk to the opposition. Like what is happening to Obalazaraki? Is it not the same money he spent to bring Bari uh, to the power? Is it, not the, is it not the master organizing secretary on that ground that defected from PDP to go and help to smooth in a new political party that has got Bari in? They didn't they know? Now then you see, once uh, you discover that a young man is bad, what you have been doing to cage him before should be applied, not destructive action. Now it, it, it's going to be a very bitter war. I would advise Buhari, from my own heavy and highly experienced knowledge of politics, that he must tread very, very slowly. Make friends, reconcile. Because I think one thing I appreciate is that he's very bold. He can do anything. If a man can cage uh, his brother, uh, Baruti could we can do with anybody. And people who are dealing with him should be careful also that they know who he, who he is before they put him. For me, I see him as a quiet gentleman. When we were in Abacha service, I was a member of the Constitutional Conference. I've written so many beautiful things about him. But with the records, when you know a man and you accept him to rule, you must understand him and you must be careful. And he, he truly is working for the future continuation. He must not just pass into certain people's uh, freedom. Like what is happening with Hitler and Saraki. And I don't think it's too smooth with him and uh, Tinubu. Are you also, sure, sir? I'm very sure it's all politics that is happening. Between him and Tinubu? No. A lot of people say they are the best of friends. No, they are political friends. Uh, and I'll be best of friends from the heart. I know what is happening. Mm. We run to them. Papa uh, Sadio is the most tactical, highly <laughs> efficient planner. There's <laughs> one man who can make things happen. He's not the man to be confronted. He knows how to go about his way. And don't think people don't think that people hate the ambassador. His enemies will hate him, but his friend will love him beyond explanation. And before I never moved closer to close to ambassador. When I got to move with him closer to him, I found him a pleasant man. All he wants, all he wants, he respects people, he wants to be respected. He wants to tell the truth. If you don't even like what he what he wants to do, tell him. Don't pretend, and don't fear him. Those who fear him are good at running into problems. <laughs> I've confronted him before, and I know he doesn't take that as an offense. Before I moved to him, they told me because I'm an Abacha friend that you know. But the first day I met him, it was on uh, on and myself matter that a good friend of us brought up with him and he called me and uh, Yinola, courtesy of uh, Chibafe Bawalala, but Yinola messed up there. Uh, but still yet, I was thinking he was going to be partial, but he was very, very honest in his judgment of that event. That is what endeared our ambassador to me. So many beautiful things have ambassador in the city. Yes. Okay, sir. I, I, I don't know. When you go back to my magazine, I said oh, the, I did a lot of good things for him, mm. but uh, I never moved closer to I never shook his hand for the years. <laughs> why, why were you so afraid of him? You no, I was wasn't gonna afraid. Get, no, I, no, maybe you thought he was going to take anger on you. No, you uh, cannot. Part of uh, uh, no, 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 Ambassador is one person. Okay. I was expecting that kind of behavior from him when I met him, but he's a humble man. Mm. You see, he's highly respectful. Baba Sanjo, when I called and talked to him, he called me Babu Budoku and he saw that at me. <laughs> he saw that at me. 
I have a lot of respect for him. <laughs> that is a man Nigeria should, should garner around yeah. and support. Because we need a, 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 a leader that yeah. can handle Nigeria. That's the man. They all feared him. We do not fear him. That's why they are disagreement. <laughs> and uh, Barry cannot tell me he doesn't fear Obasanjo. <laughs> Obasanjo can turn Nigeria up and down in one minute. Because some of us are we respect him, we respect his people, and he's respected as a Nigeria. Why don't we just put our hand together, mm -hmm. call him, let him understand, let us make him to know his mistakes, and uh, let him see this thing with the society. But he doesn't like you to. The world is not dangerous. Okay. The people in the world are the dangerous people. If you leave or you are ruling and you transfer your powers to your lieutenant, you might run into problems. Before you give your trust and power to anybody, you have to study what you want and know him. How come I support and help Abaja Dada and I never get one cover from that administration? Are you sure, sir? Like, will not believe this. I, I am happy that Mustafa is alive today that I deny. I refused to take that money. There was a time when Sarah was sent to give me half a million naira, brought to my house in place of uh, Dr. Lun Lawyer for me, using my money to uplift members of the Constitutional Conference. They went and told them, in a wrong way, that's how I was there. I was spending my money that much for members. And uh, he sent money to me. The lawyer was there. I refused to take the money. The lawyer pressurized me. Then I asked him to take 250000 and distribute it to all members of the Constitution Conference of the Southwest. The other side for it, I have it to today, anybody who wants to deny it. <laughs> so that's only one money that's passed and I never touched it. Dr. Lawyer was the one I asked to distribute the money and they all signed for it. And I have the paper up to today if anybody who wants to dispute it in the Southwest among members. So me, I am not part of the money sharing legacy.